distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak at this important event today. It is a real honor to be here today to commemorate the ninth anniversary of the Daesh campaign against the Yazidi people and to acknowledge the enormous suffering they faced and continue to face. In many senses, it feels like what has happened to the Yazidi people has defined my experience of Iraq. My very first visit to Iraq was in November 2014, when I was asked by our former Foreign Secretary, Lord Haig, to assess Daesh perpetrated sexual violence and make recommendations to the UK government of how we could support the Yazidis, other minority communities, the government of Iraq, and the Kurdistan regional government. I was, of course, absolutely horrified and shocked by what I heard, the testimonies from people who had experienced the atrocities that Daesh perpetrated, and to learn more about what had happened to people here. And those experiences have stayed with me. I was tasked with continuing to work on that for the next four years. And I know some people will be aware, more recently, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Edinburgh was here, and she made sure that she had the opportunity to listen to survivors from Yazidi, Shabak, and Turkmen communities. As we have heard this morning already, the suffering still continues. There are many people that still need ongoing holistic support, including psychosocial support, mental health, healthcare more generally, and skills training. There are nearly 3,000 women and girls who remain missing. And of course, we're still looking for solutions for the children born of rape. The UK is committed to supporting the Yazidi community and other communities that suffered at the hands of Daesh. We have committed over £278 million pounds in humanitarian support to Iraq since 2014, providing a vital lifeline of emergency food, shelter, medical care and clean water to the most vulnerable in Iraq, including two minorities such as Yazidis. We will continue to raise the importance of providing this support to communities that remain displaced as a result of Daesh with the government of Iraq and the Kurdistan regional government. On the 1st of August, as His Excellency the President mentioned, the UK formally acknowledged that acts of genocide were committed against the Yazidi people by Daesh in 2014. This determination only strengthens our commitment to ensuring that they receive the compensation owed to them and are able to access meaningful justice. The UK continues to play a leading role in eradicating Daesh, including through rebuilding affected communities and tackling its poisoning propaganda, working closely with the government, the Kurdistan regional governments and NGOs. The UK has also contributed two million pounds to UNITAD, we continue to champion its work in gathering evidence of crimes, including against minority communities, and we're committed to ensuring a new government continues to drive forward this agenda. Nine years on, there is still a need for justice and accountability. The UK advocated strongly for the passing of the Yazida Survivors Law, an important first step towards assistance and justice for survivors of Daesh perpetrated atrocities. We're pleased to provide financial support to its implementation, and we welcome the news that around 800 survivors are now in receipt of salaries. However, barriers do remain preventing access to the Yazidi survivors' laws for those entitled to it. This includes a large amount of effort required to produce the necessary documentation and the common practice of having to attend courts in Mosul and Sinjar, with many people experiencing re-traumatization through this process. NGOs such as Farida Organization have provided excellent support, taking more than half of those in receipt of salaries through the process. But it shouldn't be so difficult. 
the UK and its partners are determined to help and continue lobbying where we can be useful. Returning to Sinjar remains a huge challenge for those who are displaced. They deserve to go home to a safe and secure city with ample service provision, and this will take time and resources. The UK supports the Sinjar Agreement and believes the appointment of a mayor is a vital first step to re-establishing Sinjar as a thriving city. We hope to see a mayor in place in the very near future to start managing the funds allocated to Sinjar and its reconstruction. Finally, while lots of positive steps have been taken to address the suffering of the Yazidi people and other minority communities, more remains to be done. The UK stands in solidarity with the Yazidi community and we will continue to support you and Iraq in its efforts to address these issues. Thank you very much.